Good morning. Welcome to take two. <laughs> Edit, editing's overrated, so we'll we'll just leave it at that. Right. So today is the day we hand over braid bar number two hundred one. There we go. We'll just give it a final clean. So she's looking stunning now. Real nice cut of blue this. So it will be a bit of a quick video because the customers are on the way. Curiosity. There we go. Uh, it is having tech deck, um, front and back decks. So on the back there and also in there. They're actually coming tomorrow to fit that. There's, a, there's the curious owl and then there's something in the back lockers that I'm going to show you when we come out the back there which is very interesting anyway there she is on the outside looking sparkly and new it's got the uh, 160 panels on so we've got eight of those so it's uh, one and a quarter kilowatt so when the sun's shining, you're pretty much you are off grid. It will top your batches up after you've been cooking and everything. Bow thruster locker, um, big storage locker on the front. Our usual stuff. This one's actually got Curiosity. It's still a bit wet. Curiosity in the uh, in the anti slip there. On both sides. Don't know whether you can see that on the camera nice little feature anyway let's go inside before we do we just got one slight issue that we've had which is being resolved as they all do the custom shaped mattresses um, I won't bore you with the details uh, haven't turned up so we've got the two standard ones these are just standard singles um, customer knows about it it's uh, unfortunately it's out of our hands but they will be getting their custom shaped ones hopefully in a couple of weeks anyway at least they've got something nice to sleep on so yeah this is two singles as you can see um, so the mattresses won't be as wide as they are you, you can see that these are our usual um, slide out uh, lift up so on the gas struts so you can actually slide these together and have a massive double if you wanted to and then you've got all the storage under there on both sides so it's that one's actually got the tanks for the cassette toilet in there that's the air mat that allows the uh, the mattress to breathe so we don't get any condensation so yeah the the custom shape because they actually taper back at the ends there uh, and then they don't come out as far as this so the walkway is going to be wider than this but like I say these are these are the temporary ones so never mind so this is our usual wardrobe setup so we've got the shelves at the top loads of storage at the top there Check why I'm recording. Yep, don't want to do a take three. Mirror on the back of the door, and um, we've got hanging, hanging in this one, and then we've got the washing machine in that one. Full size washing machine, um, eight kilo wash. I think that means four kilo dry. So it's a washer dryer, and then we've got a little boot cupboard this side. With a little drawer above it. Somewhere to put your boots and shoes. Our usual front steps. Full storage in those. Uh, as you can see, leaves everywhere again. It's that time of year, folks. And we've got overheads both sides in this bedroom as well. So loads of storage. And these are our usual... Openers with the gas struts on. Um, we've gone for doors above the, the little windows as well. Usual double glaze windows from Channel Glaze. They're the full openers, so they drop back, or you can lift the whole panel out. 
which is pretty much the norm now. Uh, extra thick porthole liners, solid oak from Marcus and the team at MD Wood Tech. That's probably the only thing that we don't build here is the, the window frames and the liners. Uh, this one's got nice padded head headboards as well that the customer asked for. So yeah, really nice. Through into the bathroom. Now the granite on this one is uh, it's quartz actually, um, which is like a nice marble effect. So that's our standard sink, standard tap. Nice low profile tap so you don't whack your head. And we've got lovely mirrored cupboard above. Plenty of room for your toothbrushes and whatnot in there. Extra radiator in the bathroom. Um, little toilet roll holder and that's the button for his toilet. So the toilet is a cassette. It's got four spares um, stored under the bed behind it. In their own compartment so it's all really nice and neat china bowl so top quality uh obligatory pull out airing cupboard um, storage under it's got your hot water tank um you know our standard setup hot water tank um, shower pump and whatnot nice big shower as normal Got the nice sparkly mermaid boarding. The usual extractor fan at the top. Keeps all the condensation down. And then into the saloon. So they've got the upgraded um, flat panels, radiators which everyone goes for. They've, they've, I've actually fitted them on 200 because they're brilliant. They're real slim line, um, so they don't stick out from the gunnels and they give out so much heat. Really efficient. Uh, it's got under gunnel lighting as well, which is the multi-colour. So yeah, you can have whatever colour you like, really. And at night, with, that, with just those on, it's it's really nice. So it's the reflex stove from Lockgate, which is our most popular one. This is the copper one though, so they do look really nice, the copper ones, I must admit. Got a nice warm feel, warm look to them in the copper. And it goes well with the wood, it's lovely. Uh, TV unit, the TV's on its way with the customers so this one's actually got um, stereo in um, with speakers it's actually got speakers in the bedroom under the overheads as well uh, Wi-Fi on board and if you're wondering what that is down there that's the extension for the chimney outside when you've got that going And this is the sofa from Sofa Bed Barn. It's their Canterbury. Super comfortable. Um, and really popular. I mean, if you've ever sat on one, you'll, you'll know how comfortable they are. Actually recline. I think it's in recline position now. Um, and obviously go down for a, as, a, as a double bed. Standard double. Storage underneath for all your bedding. Uh, yeah, they're brilliant. Fantastic. Um, and it's got the obviously the white painted um, oak frame walls as a line out option and they've gone for the white painted ceiling as well so it makes the boat just feel really light and spacious and I'm actually on the, the wide angle lens on my camera at the minute so it's not doing a bad job of showing that actually it normally looks thinner on this well i don't know what it's going to look like on your screen but there you go dinette our usual dinette so again folds down as for, for occasional double um, we've got the lift out panels on the uh, side doors to give you total privacy all double glazed 
is normal. Nice big wide table. And this one's got the Nest Central heating on it, which I've actually just turned off because it was roasting. So you can control that from your um, phone. Turn your heating on before you get to the boat if it's cold. And you can put the thermostat anywhere you like. You can take it into the bedroom with you and wherever you want it. Again, and the gunnel lights in the, under the granite. Any colour you like. So this is a hybrid. Um, and massive battery bank, all electric cooking. Neff oven, slide and hide door. Now this one, the touch button one, that was the last one in the country and I had to drive to Bromsgrove to pick that up. So uh, it was actually supposed to be for 200, but because we're really kind, we let them, we let the customers have that one. Um, induction hob, two burner, most popular hob with it now, pretty much everybody has this because it's uh, got two zones on it but you can change the heat all around them and you can actually get three pans on there. And you've got plenty of room for pan handles. Um, other than, you know, if, you, if you've got the big full size one, it can be, it can take a lot of the worktop space up. Uh, we've got the our usual tin cupboard. No wine rack on this one though because they've got the bin to go in there and the wine rack is not there because they've got the wine cellars actually got two wine cellars so just got to put the wine holders in there but that's the base plate so it keeps it nice and cool and that is nice and cool in there and then we've got the with the dinettes, nice place to put the freezer. It's underneath this one. So you can access it from the galley. So it's not a bad size actually. We use these on uh, on all the hybrids. Good size freezer. Everything's 240 because we're uh, hybrid. Um, the 240 is on permanent. So we can run all 240 appliances, no problem at all. And they're actually really efficient. So we've got the full-size fridge with no ice box because we've got the freezer. And we've got the dishwasher on this one. Ten place setting. So nice size dishwasher. They actually use less water than doing them the old-fashioned way in the sink. I think it's seven litres um, for a wash, for a full wash, which is really good. Uh, and then we've got nice big drawers on this one. They're huge. I don't know if you can get how big they are, but they're massive drawers. All soft clothes. And then we've got two nice size overheads above. Uh, shelves are at particular heights in this one because he's got mugs and stuff that he sent sizes through too so we could get the shelves at the exactly the right height in that one that's just that the standard one with a mid shelf and then the two cupboards here that one's a pull out uh, that one's just a normal cupboard but you think right oh, steps are in the way now before we've done a flip up um, step arrangement on a boat called the Tudor Tamar because we had a bit more of a, a, a recess here so they could fold up out of the way, but we haven't got that. We haven't got that on this one because uh, the galley was different. So we've actually made some some flip down stairs. So they just pop down, and fold away, so you can open these cupboards. So a nice big cupboard that side, and then this one. Pull out one. So there you go. You got plenty of uh, plenty of storage in there to put beans and whatnot. Anything you want, really. No soft clothes. And then the steps. 
they just lift them again and clip back in. There you go. And then we've got the normal electric cupboard. So pretty standard, 240, all your 12 volt stuff. There's all your cabin lights, um, water pump, shower pump, whatnot. Um, we've got servo, it's got the full servo system on so we can remotely monitor the boat anywhere um, anywhere the boat is because it's got the Wi Fi. Big MPPT controller, it's got the full color display on it, tells you exactly what's going in, coming out. Yeah, really nice. And then this side, we've got storage for his Dyson. All the Hoover bits, tiller, beautiful tiller pin. Oh, also there's the remote control for the hybrid. And then lift outs on the back doors as well. So you've got when you're in the galley, you can have these open, let some more light. Um, or if it's not raining, open the doors. So, yeah, the batteries for the hybrid underneath this step, as you all know now, which goes the full width of the boat, it's over a ton of batteries. And it's 800 amp hours at 48 volts. If anybody was wondering, now I was going to show you something on the back now. Sometimes customers, very rarely, but sometimes we have customers that want to get a bit more involved with some point of the, the build. Um, we had uh, some lovely customers that uh, built his own river table on a boat called Fantastica. Uh, the first one he did and it turned out great, I loved it. Um, but the customer on this boat wanted some nice storage solution for his um, pins, more in pins, more in chains. Uh, the outside table that he's built himself for this, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and he's um, done rather a good job of it. So I'm gonna show you that now. So in this locker, these are all lockable by the way, and it all works on magnets, so that's the adjustable base height for his, his table, uh, that's actually the table, uh, there's the storage box for his, the leg of his table, and he's made all this himself, that's all out of oak and an ash but the creme de la creme is in this one now look at all that that's the base for his table and it's like I say it's all on magnets because the the hull is steel it just clip it just it's on these rubber magnets and it just clips to the side brilliant idea so he's got all his um, windlasses security key um, it's done an absolutely fantastic job. I've offered him a job, but he wants too much money. Look, there's his mooring chains. And he's even thought about, when you put the mooring chains in, if they're wet, they'll drip water. So he's made this. It's got a little compartment in the bottom. I won't lift it out, but this lifts out, and it's got two little tubs in the bottom that will catch any water. So he's thought of everything. He's got gloves. Magnet, I hadn't even spotted that. <laughs> it's got the screwdriver that's uh, that's in there as well. Brilliant. And it's all finished to a really good standard. I don't know how many layers of varnish he's put on there, but uh, I think it's nearly as thick as the wood. 
so fantastic i'm gonna have to give him a 10 out of 10 for that you can see the magnets down there look so you can take it all out if you if you you know didn't want it in there but brilliant idea yeah so if anyone wants uh, the same building <coughs> pass me your number on and i'll pass it on to him <laughs> i think he'd be quite busy yeah outside lights on this as well um and of course I forgot to mention the usual candine flooring uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it so they're coming today they should be here very soon um, so yeah hope they like it um, I'm pretty sure they will I know they're very excited to come here um, also they're bringing the new puppy dog so we're excited to see that anyway thanks for watching video for 200 is coming out soon um, so yeah, thanks for all your lovely comments as well. Um, and if you haven't done already, you can subscribe. It's free. Just click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell and that'll let us let you know when we upload a new video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.